We are doing rice cakes. Crispy ones, hopefully. Okay, so crisping the rice cakes. We're gonna do the golden curry mix of the mild and medium hot instead of the red pepper, you know, standard Korean sauce. These, <clears throat> excuse me, these fully pan fried. Do you guys hear that? The crunch? I mean, even the ones that don't look crunchy have a good, amazing crunch in them. Oh my god, these are so good. Hold on. Let me find one that's not too hot. Oh, that one's really hot. Right? So, it's so crispy on the outside and super chewy on the inside. I'm so obsessed. So, two cubes of the mild, two cubes of the medium hot over, like, really medium heat, I guess. Um, to pan fry, I used high, high heat. Okay, cooked in the, well, I guess, lightly thrown into the curry mix. So, I'm pretty excited for that. We're going to finish it off with some pure sesame oil. Um, this is the brand I get. Also, for those who don't know, you have to be super careful. Um, I'm only saying this because I've done it once. There's two kinds of sesame oil. Um, there's this kind of sesame oil, which is more like a garnishing oil or seasoning oil. And there's another kind of sesame oil you can actually cook with. They taste very, very different. Um, I had bought the other kind before because I don't use it for cooking. So I always use it on top of like ramen or I finish off most of my Asian dishes with sesame oil. So just, I don't know, make sure you get the right one. And then we're going to add sesame seeds on top of that. Okay, so the goal is to eat only a third of this. We'll see how that goes. Good morning. It is Monday. Monday, which means I haven't left the house in like... Oh, mm, three days, three days. Let's see if we leave the house today. I had a plan, and I also, because I haven't left the house, whenever I don't leave the house, I do a lot of things with my skin. One of my favorite things to do, like if it's just like a day, I'll put on like, I'll try to do some kind of like peel in the morning, or I'll try to like really heavily exfoliate or microdermabrasion or whatever, and then I'll just keep putting moisturizer on. So it's like giving your, your skin like, a lot of like moisture so you put it on in a couple hours put more moisturizer you just keep putting more moisturizer on make sure it's something that you really like or it could be a serum whatever it is like whatever product you really like that your skin really absorbs really really well just keep applying that throughout the day but what I did this time in the past three days and even right now which I'm really surprised about I've been using those nip fab glycolic here we go eyebrows also in frame um, glycolic pads the nighttime ones the five percent so the first night I put it on and then went to bed and I always take any kind of peel thing like down my neck on the tops of my hands because you know the tops of your hands will show some I don't know <laughs> liver spots that kind of thing so and I woke up the next morning removed it I kind of cleansed my skin with some micellar water put another pad on and I did that for three days. And every day I just felt like, and I didn't put anything on, no serums, no moisturizers, nothing. And I just felt like it, it looks so good. I was like, oh, this might dry my skin out, but it didn't. All it does is just like, glycolic acid is very, very good at fading stuff. I think more so than retinol is. Um, I've obviously been using retinol for a really long time and have really been able to like, see what kind of effects I like, or from what what kind of effects I get from what products. But glycolic acid is something I've only been playing with for about a year, and a lot more recently, especially with like those peels and things like that. So I have been loving it. So today, this morning, I was like, okay, maybe I'll leave the house. <laughs> I really don't want to, but I'm like, let me put a little bit of makeup on. So we have just tart shape tape as foundation. We have um, light medium under the eyes, down the nose, and then like medium on the face. Bobbi Brown Camel in the crease, and then like an elf shadow from like a trio um, on the lid. We have some very teeny tiny lashes, um, the Tom Ford liquid liner in deeper. That's about it, really. Um, oh, and I have a little bit of MAC Heritage Rouge pigment, kind of to create that kind of more like dead effect. Um, but yes, so this morning I didn't use 
any moisturizer, no primer. I straight up, it was just, I put the peel on, the glycolic acid, the Nip Fab peel. The thing is, after like half an hour to an hour, your natural oils come through and it just creates this like perfect layer of moisture and it's like phenomenal. Oh, and I've also dyed my hair. You can probably see this and I did my nails looking good. I want to have them like all like beautiful for like Los Angeles. But yeah, I, I'm really liking these glycolic acid pads because my skin even now looks so glowy and pretty and really healthy. I'm still trying to get rid of this. I showed this to you guys in the last vlog. But I'm like kind of ignoring it. I'm not someone that goes through and like really tries to cover anything on my face because I actually think that in the process of covering stuff, it looks worse. So, I mean, I just put whatever foundation or concealer I usually would use. <sighs> so, what have I been doing since not leaving the house? I've been cleaning. I actually enjoy cleaning. Cleaning, I like having like no dust anywhere and like, I love like rearranging things, um, clearing things out. Like I said earlier, was it last vlog or the two vlogs ago? I'm trying to get this house in a place where it's like 80 to 90% ready to move. Not that I have plans of moving, but it's just more like a feeling that I want to have that's like, ah, you know? So I've been updating the blog style, which is good. I've only taken like pictures of everything. I have to put everything up. So hopefully that'll be up when this vlog goes up and that will be linked below. And what else? There are some things I wanted to share with you guys. I kind of want to start a series called Bougie as Fuck. Like Bougie AF. I mean, we're not going to write as fuck, but it'll just be like really, really expensive things. Or not really expensive things, but stuff that's like, okay, you know, $50 hair oil versus like a $10 hair oil, that kind of thing. Like, and why this one is so, so good or why I really like it. Like, you absolutely positively do not need it, but if you can get it or if you want to indulge, it'd be, it's not like a new concept, but I just thought it'd be fun because, um, I don't know, just been really into like really bougie things, like bougie candles and like bougie, hair stuff, hair product, hair, whatever, you know what I mean. I have like nothing on my lips right now. I think this is why I love wearing like peachy colors because my natural lip color is extremely pink. <laughs> so I don't wear pink lip colors. Uh, it's not bad, it's just like, you know, like you wanna look like you have, I don't know, whatever. I always think like warmer colors look healthier. So I like having like peaches and oranges or like brownie nudes. Anyway, the Korean rice cakes I showed you guys yesterday, that was so good. Like, it's kind of pink. There we go. Back to like more normal colors. Oh, and this bronzer I have on is by Cota Lee. Um, this is probably not the best lighting for it because I feel like everything looks like much more like orange than it should be like my under eyes and my whatever. Um, but it's a very beautiful bronzer. And that's not the best angle. Anyway, the Korean rice cakes. Oh, so good. I am so excited to try other versions of that. Just like pan frying them. Even then, that makes me super happy. And it was just like, just give me some kind of sauce. You know what I really wanted to have it with? If you guys have ever gone for Korean barbecue, they do this thing where it's like sesame oil and then like, I want to say equal parts sugar and equal parts salt. But it could be more, I guess you can adjust it. But just like sugar, salt, and sesame oil. Not the cooking kind, the garnishing kind. It is <sighs> phenomenal. It is Okay, so Tuesday, I just went to Aldi to get some groceries. Actually, not really groceries, just like ingredients for chili because <sighs> I did not go and get groceries, obviously, after talking to you guys yesterday. Um, I was just too tired and I was like, oh, whatever. So let me share my ingredients with you. Well, yeah, and then... Um, what else did I want to share? Today's Tuesday. First day, like, back at work. So I wake up, I get my period. Awesome. Then, get ready, get in the car. Car don't start. I was like, maybe I should go to work today. But then I persevered, and after 10 minutes, the car started. So, yeah, I did that. And then, yeah, now I'm going to make chili. Because I'm like, I don't want any more salads. At least not for this week, just because it's cold. <laughs> I'm also like suffering from period phase. Maybe not in this lighting. Hold on, let me if I can get. You know when your face like cannot get like any color, like no matter how much makeup you put on, no matter how much bronzer you put on, it's still, this is, okay, you guys can't even tell right now. Whatever, let me show you the ingredients. 
Okay, so the non-chili ingredients, I have two dozen eggs. How much were they today? 23 cents. Um, I, think you guys, I think you guys are always like, wow, when I tell you guys the price of the eggs here. Um, I think 19 cents was probably the cheapest I've ever seen them. And then, let's see, what else? We have Greek yogurt, strawberry banana, and blackberry. And I got this fruit seasoning. I got it from my mother, though. It's A lot of different cultures have this kind of like spicy, salty, sour type fruit seasoning. This one is mainly chili, sea salt, and some lime. Pretty excited. Like, I don't have enough fruit like that, but mom has tons of fruit, so I think she'll really enjoy this. Okay, so actual chili ingredients. We have the seasoning. They had a hot one. I hadn't tried this before. I haven't tried this brand, period. Diced tomatoes with flavor, seasoning, plain diced tomatoes. Um, I don't do beans. I'm not a beans person, so I have a lot of corn. Some cheddar and some ground turkey. So I actually forgot to buy a can of tomato sauce, but this is still cooking down pretty saucy. It might be a little chunky, I don't know. So this is the lunch for the week, and yes, this is a wok. I use a wok for everything. <laughs> I think that um, if you have one, you end up using it for everything. Like I use it to make soups, I use it to stir fry, I use it to fry stuff, I use it for everything. So, okay, so while that's cooking down, let me show you something um, that I got off of Amazon. It's this really, really tall jewelry holder. I don't know, do we like it? I like it, but can you see this? The middle is crooked. Should I return it or exchange it? I might. It's gonna bother me. Like, I know once everything's on it, but it bothers me right now that it's crooked. Do you guys see? You see that the right side is like tilted upwards in the center? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be a little chunky, but I don't know, still, we'll call it hearty, hearty chili. Is that a good word? Chunky? The new one came in like a day. Like I put in the notification that I was returning the old one because the middle bar was crooked and they shipped it out that same night. And I got it the next day, which is kind of like really amazing. So there we go. I'll definitely link it below. This is very tall. Like I don't know if you can tell like by gauging with the surroundings, but I think it's like the tallest one is like 13 inches. No, definitely more than that. I'll link it below. So if you have like really long necklaces, um, it's really good for that. Also, totally random thing, but did you guys know that Amazon does this thing where if you get their boxes, like, this one's like a larger box. If you get an empty box from them, you can go to this one website and print a label, a shipping label, and then they will send the contents of it to like, um, wow, that's a really great thing to look at. Um, they will send the contents of it to Goodwill, I think, um, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna fill this up with like stuff, you know, that like, I just love that idea. Good morning. Friday morning. Uh, I haven't been vlogging at all. Well, I have. I haven't been in the vlogs. I've been like showing you guys random stuff. It's like I want to vlog, but I just, there's like no time. It's like on the go. Like last night, I, went, I came home at like seven-ish maybe, which is late for me. I'm someone that typically, on a normal basis, 4.35, I get to leave, you know, like a normal person. But that has been really hard in like the past, November, December now-ish, and um, yeah, and it's like, I know a lot of people say this, and I have been feeling this for a long time, but like, seriously, the older you get, the time goes really fast. Like, I felt like the end of December flew by. We're already past like the first week of January, like, and then yesterday I was just so tired. It was like, you know when you go to bed, and then you, Feel like, like you know you got a whole night of sleep but then you're up and it felt like five seconds yeah that's what it felt like this morning I was like and blink and I was up and I was like holy anyway so let's see what time it is okay yeah that was definitely don't have time to share my makeup with you which is what I really wanted to do I will um, link or, or list slash link all the makeup I have on below um, the highlights of it are the La Mer the soft fluid foundation I have received a sample packet and it just happens to be my shade um, and it's really really beautiful am I even in focus I'm so sorry um, it's really really beautiful um, I have shade 22 I think and I'm an NC 25 and it is 
so lightweight. It weighs absolutely nothing. Like I thought the La Prairie Skin Caviar Foundation was like that, and it is, but like, but that one has more coverage. This one has, I don't know, does it have similar coverage? It might have similar coverage, but it's so lightweight and it looks so beautiful on the skin. So that's what I have on. This is probably like my third time wearing it. I could probably get like another, one other wear out of it. So that's something new I wanted to share with you. What else do I have on that's like really new? Um, I have Bobbi Brown Ritual as my, ooh, as my bronzer. And I've never really worn it as just bronzer before because it is very, very, very pigmented. So if you ever, oh my god, it's like I feel so stupid telling you about this. I can't even tell you, I show you anything. But like the Sephora Pro Featherweight brushes, there is a highlighter brush that I love using for everything. Powder, bronzer, highlight, all of it. But because of the way, I don't know how this brush is so different from other kinds of brushes. But they apply product the way like Japanese made brushes apply product, i.e., you cannot over apply like and it just sweeps like a really perfect amount of foundation no bronzer on sorry guys just working off of coffee so i want to share those two things with you and obviously like i said i'll link everything below that i have on the face what i really want to talk about henry bendel there are no henry bendels by me i don't think so when i was in atlanta in november during like black friday ish um I didn't even want to go in there, but I was so drawn in by the smell. I was like, so this place smells so good. So we went in. The whole store, I think, was like 30% off that weekend. And I was kind of like, I don't know like if I want to buy anything. And the first day we went, it was like Black Friday. So it was like a herd of people. And it was just too cluttered. But we went like a couple days later. And the store was still 30% off. So I, this is what I was smelling. It was the Henry Bendel Sweet 712 scent. And I didn't want to get... I couldn't decide, like I sprayed it on me and I couldn't decide if I really liked it and I stepped out of the store and then I'm like, oh, do I really want the candle? But they didn't have the candle, like the big candle. So just to kind of test everything out, I picked up the roller ball. Yeah, it's a roller ball. I love the scent. I'm so excited, love it so much. And then I picked up a travel version of the candle. Um, I think this is, how many ounces in here? Four ounces. They have this, I think you can get how much is this one? $15. So 30% off that, it just, I don't know why I'm doing that, but just to show you that I've burned it and I love it. I think I'm gonna bring it to LA so that I, our, our room can smell like this. Love it, okay. And then lastly on that trip, I picked up the Neroli Mandarin candle. It is 14.5 ounces. I think, was this like 50 bucks? There's no price on this. 50, 52 is very expensive, but it smells exactly like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. So I'm like obviously super obsessed with it and I've been burning this, I mean, you can just tell by the wicks that I've been burning it, but. And these scents are fragrant. Like I, I have been like a Bath and Body Works candle person over the course of my life, but I never found there were any scents that I really gravitated towards like you know what I mean like I like them so I actually tend to like more of the sense that I find it like TJ Maxx and Marshalls because I'm not like a sweet person like sweets like sugary smelling scents like I like neroli I like bergamot I like sometimes lavender um, amber I like kind of more actually a lot of like Italian notes uh, freesia stuff like that and then kind of you know patchouli and like Oud scents more, I guess. But if you love the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino scent, which is, I, that's like one of my top scents from Tom Ford, this candle is like for you. And the thing is, you burn it for like 10, 15 minutes and you almost like, it, the whole house. You know what I mean? Like, love. So, during that Black Friday sale, they were handing out cards for $50 off $150 for a later purchase in December. Um, and you can use it in store online. So I was really excited because I me mean, obviously I don't have a store by me, but I could buy it online. So I ended up wearing this rollerball all the time. And I've been like very sparingly burning the sweet 712 candle. So I picked up the full size of the perfume, which I think was like 92 originally. I could be making that up. 98? 98 maybe. But look how beautiful this is. Like this bottle is stunning and everything comes in like a bougie box. Like even the rollerball came in like a really bougie box. Like 
how nice right so i got the full size of this and online they had the full size of the sweet 712 candle is it 712 or 712 i don't know i know that henry bendel is like a step above like bath and body works right like it's owned by limited am i making that up i might be but i think i'm not anyway full size of the candle I'm so excited. I haven't burned this yet, but I will start burning this so I can preserve my little tiny one. And they have a lot of random deals on there. I just haven't just been to a Henry Bendel before, but I always see their stuff online or people have them in their videos. And I'm like, that looks really nice, but do I want to get it just based on that? No. <laughs> so I'm excited about this like brand because I feel like in their jewelry, really well made. I think overpriced, but really well made. And just the way the store is lit, I mean, all the jewelry is going to look amazing. Okay, very fun story about this. Well, not fun story, but like, so it was... <clears throat> $150 purchase and you get $50 off, which is amazing, right? I was like, okay, so I can get both of these things for $100, which kind of pricey still, but I don't know, a little bougie Christmas treat yourself kick. I didn't really buy that much stuff, I don't think. Maybe we'll do a separate video on like recent purchases. A lot of stuff has gone back. Um, but a lot of good deals too, actually, that I want to share with you guys. Because I was on this like knee-high, thigh-high boot kick trying to find like really good pair. And then there's this one brand at DSW, if you guys shop there, whole, they're, they fit perfectly. I might have picked up at maybe six pairs from this brand and it doesn't even equate to how much I would have had to pay for like a Stuart Weitzman. It's amazing. So I put these in my car and I punched in my code for my $50 off and they only took off $38. I was like, Ugh, what is this? This is like so annoying, right? I emailed them or I messaged them through their system and it, like they didn't respond and I was like, okay. So then like, I wanna say like a few days later, cause it was like a limited promotion or whatever, right? Cause it's a sale. So then I emailed them and then they got back to me. They're like, oh, we're so sorry. We'll fix it. We'll like credit you with the $50 when we ship it. I was like, that's great. So they ship it out and I get my stuff and then they credit me like $52. And I'm like, okay. So essentially they took off $90 off my order, which I'm totally not complaining about and I'm not gonna correct them, but it was like totally awesome that they were like, it was like that so I didn't really have to pay that much for this which is really exciting anyway I don't know I'm just like rambling also I can't feel my ankles right now so work. okay so I need to get to work because I'm definitely late for now yes okay so take care and I will talk to you guys really soon